In this first problem, you have to divide this algebraic expression by this algebraic expression, that is division of two polynomials. So basically what we have to do is 20 multiplied by y plus 4 multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 3 and this has to be divided by 5 y multiplied by y plus 4. Okay, so now if you look at this numerator, then this numerator can be written as 5 multiplied by 4 then multiplied by y plus 4 and this multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 3. Okay, and this is 5 multiplied by y plus 4. Now we have written this 20 as 5 multiplied by 4 that is in its factor form so that we can cancel this 5 with this 5. Okay, then this y plus 4 has to be cancelled by this y plus 4. The same factors get cancelled. Now you are left with 4 multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 3. Now this particular expression cannot be further factorized. If you try it by factorizing this using this identity that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. If you try this, you will fail. Another one is x plus a multiplied by x plus b equal to x squared plus a plus bx plus ab. Even this, if you use this one, you will fail. Therefore, this cannot be further factorized and hence this is the quotient or the answer of this division. In the second one, you have to divide y squared plus 7y plus 10 divided by y plus 5. So basically, you have to divide this algebraic expression of polynomial by this one. Right? So when you divide with this, this is y squared plus 7y plus 10. Now, this cannot be used, uh, factorized, this cannot be factorized y squared plus 7y plus 10 by this one that is a squared sorry that is a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab you cannot use this one why because this 10 there is no number there is no square root of 10 like no natural number that is square root of 10 no right that's how you cannot use this one what about this one how about this one uh, x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus bx plus ab. This is also one of the identities that we have learned. What about this one? Yes, this is applicable. And how? This is y squared plus 7y plus 10. And you know that you have to write this expression in, the, in this form. How can you do this? It means that you have to take two numbers a and b such that a plus b has to be equal to 7 and a multiplied by b should be equal to 10. This we have discussed. Okay. If you don't know this, you can check our theoretical portion that we covered, I think, two days back in the playlist Algebra or Grade 8 Mathematics. You can uh, check those tutorials. Now you have to find two numbers a and b such that a plus b should be equal to 7, that is this middle term, and a multiplied by b should be equal to 10, that is this constant term. Okay. Now, let's take a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2. Let's take this one. In that case, a plus b is equal to 7 and a multiplied by b is equal to 10. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. That's why we can write this as this as x squared plus 5 plus 2y plus 10 plus, sorry, 5 multiplied by 2 like in this form then this is divided by y plus 5 okay now this x squared plus a plus b x plus a b we have written this one sorry this is y squared not not x squared but this is y squared because here variable is y squared okay now this is equal to x plus a multiplied by x plus b so on by using this identity this can be written as, the numerator can be written as 
y plus a means 5 in this case multiplied by y plus b means 2 in this case and it is it is divis, uh, divided by y plus 5. Now this factor y plus 5 and y plus 5 is common in both the numerator and the denominator. You are left with y plus 2 and this is the quotient or the answer of this division. In this case it's m squared minus 14 m minus 32 divided by m plus 2. Now in this case you cannot use a plus b whole squared identity neither you can use neither can you use a minus b whole squared identity because here you have negative so this gets rejected at once what about this one in this case you have you will get a squared minus 2ab minus b squared sorry plus b squared so again it's not applicable what about this one x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b right because you cannot find a square root that is a natural number of 32 okay so you can we apply this one yes we can apply and let's see how we want to write this expression we want to write this expression in the form of this okay so we need two numbers a and b such that a plus b is equal to minus 14 and a multiplied by b should be equal to minus 32 okay what if we take a is equal to minus 16 and b is equal to 2 so minus 16 plus 2 will give you minus 14 and minus 16 multiplied by 2 will give you minus 32 that's why this expression can be written as m squared minus sorry m squared plus minus 16 plus 2 m minus here you have, sorry and then you have this plus sign because you have plus sign plus we have to write in this form remember we have found a plus b and a multiplied by b that is a should be equal to minus 16 b should be equal to 2 plus a b means minus 16 multiplied by 2 right so this is basically m squared and minus 16 plus 2 is minus 14 m and plus minus 16 multiplied by 2 is minus 32 that's what we have here okay and this is m plus 2 okay now this particular expression this expression is actually equal to what x plus a multiplied by x plus b so in this case this becomes m plus what's a a is minus 16 always be careful about the negative sign multiplied by m plus why m because our variable is m doesn't matter whether here it is m or x or y the thing is you have to use this identity m plus b b what's b 2 divided by m plus 2 now this factor m plus 2 in the numerator and this factor m plus 2 in the denominator uh, is common therefore this gets this get cancelled and now you have m minus 16 so this m minus 16 is the quotient or the answer of this division in this next one you have to divide 5p squared minus 25p plus 20 divided by p minus 1 so basically we have to divide this expression by this one now if you look at the numerator carefully then you can take out this 5 factor common right because this is 5 multiplied by p squared minus 5 multiplied by 5p plus 5 multiplied by 4 that is 20 divided by p minus 1 from here if you look this 5 this 5 this 5 this factor is common in all these three terms take this 5 outside the bracket within the bracket you will have p squared minus 5p plus 4 and this is equal to p minus 1 okay 
Now, this p square minus 5p plus 4 can be expressed using this identity that is x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b and how if we take a as so we have to take two numbers a and b such that a plus b is equal to minus 5 and a multiplied by has to be equal to this 4 so let's take a as minus 4 b as minus 1 so minus 4 plus minus 1 gives you minus 5 and minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 gives you 4 right so let's write this as this expression that is p square minus 5p plus 4 as p squared plus y plus because here we have plus plus minus 5 then plus b means plus b means minus 1 in this case sorry minus 4 not 5 minus 4 plus minus 1 p then plus what's a a is minus 4 what's b b is minus 1 so this gives you p squared here it is minus 4 minus 1 p and this is plus minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 okay so we have written this expression in this form now this expression using this identity you can write this expression as here it's x plus a so our variable is p so p plus a means what minus 4 multiplied by p plus b means what minus 1 so this is basically p minus 4 multiplied by p minus 1 right so now in the numerator you can write it as 5 multiplied by p minus 4 multiplied by p minus 1 divided by p minus 1 now this p minus 1 factor in the numerator and this p minus 1 factor in the denominator are common therefore they both get cancelled now you have 5 multiplied by p minus 4 this is the quotient of this division or this is the answer of this division 4yz multiplied by z squared plus 6z minus 16 divided by 2y multiplied by z plus 8 so basically we have to divide control x Control V. So this is the division we have to perform here. Now, if you look at this expression, that is z squared plus 6z minus 16, this can be factorized using the same x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b this identity so we need two numbers a and b such that a plus b is equal to 6 and a multiplied by b should be equal to minus 16 good so what two numbers we can take well we can take a as minus 8 and b as 6 so minus 8 plus 6 sorry b as 2 so minus 8 plus 2 gives you 6 and minus 8 multiplied by 2 gives you minus 16. So these are the two numbers. Therefore, we can express this z squared plus 6z minus 16 as z squared plus, right, plus minus 8 plus, let's remove the bracket, minus 8 plus 2z minus sorry plus because here we have plus here plus a is minus 8 and b is 2 okay now this is equal to x plus a multiplied by x plus b so we can express this as z plus 
minus 8 because z plus a means minus 8 in our case multiplied by z plus b means 2 so this is equal to z minus 8 multiplied by z plus 2 okay so this is 4 multiplied by y multiplied by z multiplied by this is equal to this one z minus 8 multiplied by z plus 2 and if you divide this one you get the denominator is 2 multiplied by y multiplied by z plus 8 this is z plus 8 or it should be z minus 8 okay one mistake one mistake i'm sorry here it's a plus b has to be equal to 6 so you will take a as 8 and b as minus 2 i'm sorry for this because 8 plus minus 2 will give you 6 and 8 multiplied by minus 2 will give you minus 16 if we took minus 8 plus 2 that will give you minus 6 not plus 6 so that's mistake mistake therefore this will be 8 plus minus 2 this will be 8 multiplied by minus 2 this will be z plus 8 and z plus minus 2 so from here this is z plus 8 and z minus 2 so this is z plus 8 and this is z minus 2 okay so z plus 8 this gets cancelled z plus 8 and z plus 8 this y gets cancelled and here you have 2 divided by 4 is this will give you 2 so 2 z multiplied by z minus 2 this is the quotient or the answer of this division this is the last one here you have 39 y cubed multiplied by 50 y squared minus 98 and this has to be divided by this expression okay now in this case if you look carefully this is basically 39 multiplied by y cubed right and multiplied by this 50 can be written as 2 multiplied by 25 multiplied by y squared minus 2 multiplied by 49 okay and this is divided by 26 multiplied by y squared multiplied by 5y plus 7 okay now here you have this 2 common let's take out this 2 so you get 39 multiplied by y cubed multiplied by 2 within the bracket you have 25 y squared minus 49 and this is divided by 26 y squared 5y plus 7 right now this is 39 this y cubed can be written as y squared multiplied by y and why are we doing this because in the denominator we have y squared so if we make it y squared it can be easily cancelled right it can be easily cancelled so y squared multiplied by y then multiplied by 2 and this 25y squared can be written as 5y whole squared because 5 times 5 is 25 and y multiplied by y gives you y squared minus this 49 can be written as 7 squared and this is 26 y squared 5y plus 7 now this is of the form a squared minus b squared and it is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b right so here or a is what let's write this one first 39 multiplied by let's remove the multiplication sign because it's getting confusion 39 y squared 
and multiplied by y so we'll have to put it here and multiplied by 2 this is of the form a plus b multiplied by a minus b so what's a here 5y what's b here 7 what's a here 5y what's b here 7 and this is now 26 y squared 5y plus 7 now this 5 by y plus 7 and this 5y plus 7 get get uh, they, these two get cancelled this is y squared and y squared get cancelled and here you have this 2 and 26 right so you are left with if you divide this 2 and 26 you'll get 13 here right 2 and this is 26 so if you divide by 2 you'll get 13 and this 13 divided by this 39 will give you 3 because 13 times 3 is 39 so the denominator is finished only numerator is left and that is 3 y 5 y minus 7 this is your answer this is the quotient or the answer of this division right so the thing is remember all the identities and the more you practice the more frequent sorry the more you know confidently you can solve such problems that will be a fun in that case